All right. 27. What is this one? A nice example. We have a very cellular lesion here. It looks like a small excision is taking up most of the sample. There are some uh, larger vascular channels, but overall it just looks packed, packed, packed. Yes. And what kind of arrangement uh, would you say from low power here? Uh, lobular to plexiform almost. Yeah, that's a good point. I, I like that plexiform. There, there are like so many lobules and so interconnected that it almost gives them a, an interwoven plexiform appearance. That's a great, a great um, description, Josiah. Good. And then so when we go closer to one of these lobules, we've got the bigger dilated vessels, like you said. And then once it comes into focus here, uh, what's happening in the, the cellular areas here? Perfect. Now, as it comes in, we can see that these are just innumerable tiny vascular spaces lined by endothelial cells, just jam-packed together, but very monotonous. Um, I'm not seeing a tipia here. Um, I do believe you have shown me one of these recently. Uh, yes. And yes, not seen often, but good for an infantile. Uh, yeah, infantile hemangioma. In the past, uh, when I was in training, I think some people still called them cellular hemangioma of infancy, but infantile hemangioma, I think, is the current name that, that people like as of the time of making this video. And yeah, like now you see it, right? This looks just like that other one I showed you. Like once you've seen them, they have a very distinct look, but it's also a very scary look if you've not seen one before because it's like, oh my gosh, there's cells everywhere, right? It's so busy and cellular. The whole dermis, the whole subcutis is like filled with this thing in these big lobules that are filling up all the space, but of interest, of note, look, it like fills all the spaces, but at the same time, we've got pre-existing structures that are left intact, right? It doesn't seem the, the eccrine ducts and coils and the hair follicles are just hanging out here in between the lobules. It's like the, the vascular spaces all grew around the normal dermis structures and just puffed up into these lobules, like balloons that just filled in all the empty space there. Uh, but still have left all of these other structures intact. In fact, in this lobule right here, what do we have in the middle? Is a lobule of capillaries, and here's an eccrine coil right in the middle, one little branch of it. Isn't that fun? So um, the problem with these can come when, when they're in their earliest proliferating phase, they can be so cellular and so closely packed with capillaries that they look solid. And that you look and you just see like a, a sea of cells inside each lobule. You will have those, some of these larger dilated vessels, which are basically you know, feeding vessels that are feeding the blood into the lesion. But it takes some time for these vascular channels to kind of open up, I guess, is that one of the theories of how this happens. So even these cellular areas here, it's a little hard on this scan, but see this little one here? That's a lumen with three endothelial cells around it. So we can see these channels that are a little more open, but even in between, there are other channels that, that are still not popped open yet, that if we did a CD31 marker, we would see there are actually tons of super, super tiny that are like barely big enough for a red cell to squeeze through yet channels all packed in here together and then there's also some spindle cells and if you do uh you know a 31 with a smooth muscle actin for example actin will label many of those cellular stuff in the background that fills in between each capillary and those are pericytes the smooth muscle cells that are modified that wrap around all the little vessels that we have in the body as well as most of the benign vascular lesions that we have that grow they're usually endothelial layer surrounded by a layer of pericytes so sometimes if you have a cellular process and you're trying to like visualize what's going on doing a cd31 or erg um, plus an actin can help you to see that that there's actually a lot more organization and structure there and not this diffuse sheet that you thought there was in this case we don't need that at all it's obvious also the other thing you can do is that you know these are usually in babies right Sometimes though they will persist over time and, and they begin to regress usually, but variable amounts can be left behind as a person gets older. Uh, but they, these are also unique because they're positive. The endothelial cells are positive for GLUT1, whereas pretty much all other vascular lesions to my knowledge are negative for GLUT1 in the endothelial cells. So GLUT1 uh, is a glucose transporting molecule. It's positive in the endothelial cells of, of uh, infantile hemangioma. It's also positive in normal red blood cells. So that's a nice internal control, but that can make it problematic when there's a lot of blood. You have to like stop and look at the actual endothelial cells when you do a GLUT1 stain here to make sure that they are actually staining. Also, GLUT1 will stain perineurium, as you know, and also can stain the uh, keratinocytes in the epidermis, I believe. Uh, so uh, in any case, this is a really nice example of infantile hemangioma. 
and you don't um, we don't see them removed as often anymore because a lot of times uh, it depends on the treatment preferences but sometimes they're treated with different uh, medical therapies uh, like beta blockers things like that sometimes um, and, but I know sometimes plastic surgeons will or pediatric surgeons will go on and excise them depending on the size and the clinical situation so I know there's some different thoughts about that but uh, but I think because though there are other medical therapies I feel like we don't see large excisions of big robust infantile hemangiomas as often at least in my practice maybe pediatric pathologists see this all the time but I only get to see them every once in a while so that's a perfect example of one perfect